<laughs> tonight we have a very special edition of my comedy showcase. I hope it all goes well. I've had a terrible week. This has got to break my run of bad luck because I've had no luck. Uh, Monday, I stepped into the road to avoid walking under a ladder and got knocked down by a van carrying Lucky Charms, <laughs> which had swerved to avoid a black cat. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday was bad. My tropical fish died. I overwatered them. <laughs> bad afternoon, my American Express card left home without me. And... <laughs> And I bought a hairdryer that sucks. <laughs> There's another line to that joke, but I'm too classy to use it. <laughs> you, it got terrible. It was getting me down, and I sort of uh, went a bit demented. I decided to try and end it all. Uh, I tried jumping off my roof, and they called the police to talk to me. And the policeman said, ready, steady. <laughs> Last night was a corker. All the, see, all the gadgets in my house are controlled from a, um, a master switch. So, I set the video last night. And when I came home, it had recorded all the programs from the washing machine. <laughs> Wait, it was the best night's viewing I've ever had. <laughs> Eleven programs and Terry Wogan wasn't on one of them. <laughs> Tremendous. Because I missed the news, but who cares? I mean, the news, it's always the same old faces, old faces like uh, Ronald Reagan. I say old. I did read where, I read where Reagan said, old age is all in the head. Yeah, with hair dye, contact lenses, false teeth and two deaf aids, where else would it be? <laughs> He's a clever old stick, that Ronnie Reagan, though. He even keeps a pencil and pad beside him in case he wakes up during the day with an idea. <laughs> ah, well, he's got to be sharp to keep up with that new uh, Russian leader, Gorbachev. Did you read that speech last week by Gorbachev? Gorbachev said, uh, uh, the essential difference between uh, Russia and the West is that uh, the West treasures its money while Russia treasures its people. Yes. So we lock up our money while Russia... <laughs> ah, I think on the whole, uh, we're better off with our own politicians. Mrs. Thatcher, she's got a sense of humour. You've got, to, you've got to admit that. She calls her dog Ponting because he's only got to see a newspaper and he leaks something. <laughs> That's for Nigel Lawson. Hey, I don't want to worry you, but I hear Nigel Lawson has put the country in his wife's name. It's possible. It's possible. <laughs> Nigel Lawson, the only member of the cabinet who looks better on spitting image. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, wait, he's getting tougher. Have you heard about the sneaky way the government's planning to cut back on the National Health Service? From now on, they're only going to recruit Jewish doctors, so the hospitals will be forced to close on Saturdays. Yes! <laughs> and with Jewish doctors, there'll be even more cuts in the private sector. <laughs> I hate going to see my doctor. See, I've got a doctor who's weird. He's, he's weird. He gave me a kiss and said, take that to the chemist. That's weird. <laughs> and it's not because he likes me or anything, but he said to me, he said, you've got a very unusual condition and I can't tell you what's wrong yet. I said, when will you know? He said, after the post-mortem. <laughs> Man hates me. I tried to explain my condition to him. I said, every morning I, I get out of bed, I go to the bathroom, I look in the mirror and I throw up. What's wrong with me? He said, I don't know, but your eyesight's okay. <laughs> I mean, if it comes to consulting about my love life, you can forget that, because I tried it. I said, um, I told him I, I didn't seem able to please my wife. <clears throat> he said, have you considered biting her left ear while you tickle her tummy with a feather duster? I said, my, my wife would hate that. He said, you're wrong, she loves that. <laughs> It's all drugs and alcohol these days, isn't it? Look at uh, the famous names who check into that uh, Betty Ford clinic. Somebody phoned the Betty Ford clinic, asked Betty Ford the other day, is it true all the Hollywood stars come round? And she said, yeah, if you throw a bucket of water over them. <laughs> all the stuff. Dolly Parton, even Dolly Parton has gone teetotal. It hasn't helped. She still wakes up every day with a massive hangover. <laughs> Before, I, before I'm finished, wait for this one. Liz Taylor, Liz Taylor has had the treatment. She's getting ready for her eighth wedding. Eight weddings. Eight weddings. Can you believe that? Whew. Her motto must be, if you can't take it with you, wear it out. 